Hi everyone, and welcome back to some more XCOM 2. So, we got Guerrilla Operations to do, and I decided to do this one right here. For 72 Intel and to counter Viper rounds. I'm not doing the first one because it has automated defenses, and this will reduce the possibility of me getting a trooper corpse, and I need one more trooper corpse to get Predator armor. I'm also not doing this one, because I don't really need even more engineers, I have enough. So that leaves us with this one. And the Viper rounds can be quite annoying, so countering this is definitely not a bad thing. And we can always use more intel. So here's our squad. We got Milamber, we got Matt, we got Devalish, Manti, Spartan, and Alexandra. That's my major rank rocketeer. So, let's go then, shall we? Milamber and Matt actually have very high compatibility, so they should be able to become buddies, maybe even after this mission. They are pretty close already. In position to drop. So hopefully we'll get a corpse out of this. A trooper corpse, that's all I need. I'm actually 9 days away from finishing plasma weapons, so I would like to get Predator armor before plasma weapons, you know? We've been picking up unusual readings coming from this area, and our recon team has confirmed that Advent is now operating some sort of massive psionic transmitter nearby. Shen and Tygen agree, if we destroy the transmitter while it's still connected to Advent's network... So, this is a psionic transmitter mission, which means we will be on a timer, but we can extend that timer by shooting the nodes. But we don't have to hurry up, you can quite easily run out of time in this kind of mission. And our objective is not actually that close. It's not close at all. So we should definitely move quickly. I'm not seeing any enemies, so let's just move as much as we possibly can here. I will still try to stay in cover. Okay, here's an armored Psy Viper. I think that's the first one in this campaign. And these guys can actually be quite dangerous. I assume he has friends. He's not there on his own. Alright then. And I can't see him anymore. Well, we know he's there. So let's maybe reveal him. I think we should move left. Okay, let's go through here. That seems like a better idea. Hello, anyone home? Here, we got a pod. Bio assault trooper, heavy lancer, okay. And we got some nodes we can shoot. So let's set up and we can ambush that pod on the next turn. Sounds good to me. We got three nodes we can shoot, nice. So that's plus three turns to the timer, basically. Uh, let's just set up as close as we can. Like this. This is fine. And that's that. Hey, come back here. Uh, okay, that will make it a little bit harder. Uh, they actually moved quite far. I guess we can just follow them and attack them on the next turn. I think that's what I'll do. Unfortunately, I can't kill the vipers and I can't even see the vipers uh, because Matt didn't see them. So target definition won't work because Matt didn't actually see them. Uh, let's move a bit closer and see if there's anything else. Yes, there is. Okay, this could potentially be really good. Oh, this could be amazing. If I use a claymore and then a rocket. That's actually incredibly tempting right now. Are we close enough? To use a rocket? It would have to be a guided rocket. Okay, I would have to move a little bit closer, but it would be doable. I would still prefer to stay in cover. Out. Let's check now. I'm pretty sure I can't use a regular rocket. Uh, actually, yeah, I can. But I would prefer a guided rocket, especially after a mode. It's still good enough, and I can choose exactly where we want to hit. 
This is really tempting. I think I'm going to do it. That's two pods basically on top of each other. Okay, let's do it. So first, throw a claymore like this. That will hit four or five of them. Yep, go, go, go. And then we'll use a rocket. This should kill the vast majority of both the groups. And then we can maybe finish them off. If Matt gets revealed, I can use Inspire on him to move him. Shouldn't be a problem. And he won't trigger anything new if he gets revealed, so he'll be fine. Okay, let's do this. That's going to be a lot of explosions, so like this. This will maximize the targets we hit. Here. Okay, go, go, go. That's going to be a lot of damage. Might be the most damage I've done with a single rocket in this campaign so far. If you add the claymore as well. Yep, that's a lot of damage. So how many did we actually kill here? We killed a trooper. Oh, there was advanced trooper in there. Nice. Okay, that's perfect. That's the corpse I needed. Now, let's see if we can finish off some of them. We should be able to. We can also use Insanity. So I'm thinking Stasis and then Insanity. That has a chance to mind control them. So... Maybe Stasis on the Captain. Or Stasis on the Trooper. And then Insanity on the Captain. Okay. Stasis on the Trooper. And then Insanity on the Captain. I just need it to not fail. So there are several possible outcomes here. He might get disoriented, he might panic, or we might mind control him. Let's find out. Okay, he's just disoriented. So that's basically the worst possible outcome other than him resisting it outright. What else? I still have the acid bomb, so I could use the acid bomb. I don't know if I want to. And I shouldn't have used stasis. But it's tempting, I'm not gonna lie. It's really tempting. What the heck, let's use the acid bomb. This should be like half the enemies on this map. So even with this one frozen guy, it's still worth using. This will kill the Lancer, it will kill one of the mutants. I'm okay with it. And it will acid burn the captain. As well as the officer. So, good enough. Okay, uh, who's next? We're not done yet. We can take a shot here, but I will have to be relatively close and without cover. So maybe not the best idea. We could use staggering shot. That's an option. Yeah, the problem is that I'm a little bit too far away. That's the problem. Just a little bit. And I'm not close enough to move into cover and then take a shot. So I'm not a big fan of standing in the open. Not excited about that. It might still be fine if I kill the officer and the captain. The assault trooper would be able to shoot someone, but he can't kill anyone on his own. So maybe this is fine, actually. Moving to position. It's a bit of a risk, but maybe it's fine. So I do have staggering shot. That's 71% chance to kill the Muton. Uh, let's go for it. Got him. Nice. Okay, then we could use the bolt caster to hit the officer. I kind of need to kill the officer here, because he can actually do a lot of damage. So again, this is a bit of a risk. Got him. And we still have a few options. Uh, actually, no, that was our last move. And the Chosen is here. That's the Warlock. Hopefully this will be one of the last times we'll have to fight the Warlock outside of his stronghold. Because I can already do the stronghold mission. I'm just waiting to be a little bit more prepared, let's just say. So now we'll take some damage from the trooper, but that shouldn't matter too much. We'll just heal it up and kill him. So, I think we killed, like, half the enemies on this map right now. 
and we didn't even get revealed, so that's perfect. Okay, right, we're not done yet. Now we should probably move into cover. <laughs> that sounds like a good idea. Go, go, go. I do have demolition, so we could use that on that assault trooper in the back to get rid of his cover, make it easier to kill him. There we go. That's much, much better. Way better. We should definitely keep moving. And I would like to move into cover this time around. So, 67%. Not amazing, but I guess it will do. Uh, let's maybe not take that shot yet, we can take it later. There will not be enough cover for everyone. On my way. I assume we will kill both of them on this turn. Maybe it's an incorrect assumption, but that's what I'm assuming right now. So Devilish can take two shots as long as he doesn't move. But he has 91% chance, I'm taking that shot. There it is, we got a crit. So now he's at 1 HP, someone with stock can finish the job. So right here, we got stock 1. And then we have the other trooper to kill. So 91, okay, 82%. Deflected, right. Okay then. How about Manti? 75%, I just need to hit this. There it is. He's down, and now we can kill the other guy with stock. Like so. So this is a granted kill right there. And then we can shoot the node. Yep. To get plus one turn. So I assume the warlock will summon zombies now, which should be fine. Uh, I might have to wait for that acid to go away. Or just go in this direction instead. The vipers are still out there, I just can't see them. But they are there. And there should be one more pod too. Oh yeah, there we go. And the zombies. Uh, they didn't actually spot us yet, did they? No, they didn't. That's a good thing. He didn't even summon zombies close to me. Yep, it's fine. Yeah, uh, the vipers did not see us. I can just keep moving. That's probably best. Okay, uh, let's just keep moving. On your order. We should definitely heal ourselves. And reload. So, give me the heals. I, guess that'll be okay. I only have two, so it's not that many. It will have to be enough. There. Okay. So, I can't actually see the zombies here. There, we can see one. We can take a shot at it while moving towards our objective. 86%. I don't think they used Spectral Rapture. Enemy Not that it matters when they are this far away. There it is. Spartan got promoted to lieutenant. About time. Because he's done like several missions at this point without getting that promotion. Uh, let's get rid of this node here. Done. Okay, and we still got Alexandra. Just Overwatch, I guess, because the Vipers might actually find us now. So this might do some damage to them. To it won't be a lot of damage, but better than nothing. Okay, now I can go this way. I would prefer to go this way. I, will reposition. I was just waiting for the acid to go away. There's the zombie. Can't see much else at the moment. I am moving towards the objective. Now the vipers will see us. There are only two of them, but these guys are actually nasty. Especially the Psy Viper. He can do what? Up to 9 non-critical damage, he has 3 armor, 17 HP and 80 base aim. That is quite a lot. And he has some sonic abilities. As the name implies. So uh, there's the zombie with Spectral Rupture this time. Uh, how do we do the Vipers? Is Demolition up? I don't think it's up yet. No, it's not. Okay, uh, how do we handle this? I might just blast them with a rocket. I think so. 
0.4 scatter, so this should be fine. Just a regular rocket, because flashed rocket won't do damage through cover. Okay, like this, I want to blow up that cover for both of them. So hopefully this will hit both of them, while also destroying cover for both of them. That's the idea. Okay, go, go, go. I can't move because that will increase scatter. I have to stay where I am. There it is, perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. They do have blast padding as well. But we destroyed their cover. That will make it much easier to kill them. Let's see if we can kill them both. Maybe, maybe not. I can't really move if I want to kill them both. Because I need to maximize my damage. We can flare them up. Let's do it, flare them up, maximize our chance to hit. We'll start from the Psy Viper, right here. So that's 60% chance to crit. I'm not taking any chances, I want to kill them both. One more shot. There it is. Didn't even need a crit. And he dropped some loot. I really need some Elarium cores. I'm down to like one or two Elarium cores, that's bad. Uh, now, hold on. In theory, I could use Stasis, which I might or might not need. Reload. Okay, this needs to hit. Otherwise, I might need Stasis. Okay, done. Now we can finish this off without anything fancy. So I'm thinking reload and then take a shot. What if we miss? If we miss, then Matt can take one more shot. I could just take a shot with Matt to begin with. And then shoot the Spectral Zombie, because it's still there. I would still like to get rid of it. If this is a kill, we will stay concealed. If not, I can still conceal myself after. There. So he's dead. And we will stay concealed. Now we can shoot the Spectral Zombie, preferably. And get rid of it. Yeah, let's reload. Got it. And now we can shoot... Uh, no, I can't shoot a node. Uh, let's just overwatch, because we're not done. There should be one more pod, I think. And the Warlock, obviously. Okay, we got two turns. Let's keep moving. We still need to get to our objective. This mission is actually pretty tough. I'm glad I was able to blast two pods simultaneously with one rocket. And that Claymore was so good. But I can really, like, still fail this. If I'm not careful. <laughs> it's definitely possible. Uh, so, right, let's shoot that node over there. To buy one turn. I'll probably get the objective with Matt. And then he can conceal himself. Because that will make him lose concealment, but then he can conceal himself again. Unless there's like a pod guarding it. So reload. Yeah, I still need to hurry up. Uh, there's another node over here. Let's maybe get that one. But I don't want to trigger anything nasty. So let's move into cover over here. That should be fine. Yep, it's fine. No, it's not fine. Okay, then. I guess I'll need that frost bomb, I think. You will never hide from me. Hold on, hold on. We don't have to actually shoot the node yet. I think frost bomb here would be reasonable. Yeah, maybe. I can also still use a rocket. Flashed rocket would be nice as long as we can hit our intended targets. Now, again, like I said, this will not do damage through cover. So sometimes, even though they are highlighted red, uh, the red highlight actually lies. It's not entirely accurate. But even if I hit just the Assault Trooper, I think it's still worth using it. Because it's a lot of damage and then I still have one more rocket. So it's still worth using it. Go, go, go. There it is. Okay, he also has blast padding, really. Uh, right. Okay, I didn't think he has that, but okay. Do we stasis him? 
I need to think about this for a second. So I can use the frost bomb here. That is an option. It's an officer and the cryo priest. The cryo priest isn't really dangerous right now. It's mostly the officer. And I do technically have cover on everyone. So maybe I don't need that frost bomb. I could stay this this guy or I could use insanity. I can move first. We also have the lot to pick up over here, but I can pick it up on the next turn. Not a problem. Okay, let's move a bit closer and try insanity here. Or just stasis, because insanity can fail. Stasis literally cannot fail. It's impossible for it to fail. So stasis it is then. Okay. And then just overwatch. I think that's best. The officer will definitely move. And then I might hit him. Here he comes. Five damage and a shred, a nice one. He will shoot someone, but unless he gets a crit, he cannot kill anyone. He didn't hit us. I'm taking fire! I mean, he only had 26%. I don't think the cryo priest is close enough. Okay, he will throw the frost bomb, which will freeze Spartan. I can deal with that. More zombies incoming. Okay, okay. This is fine. I still need to get the objective, but we technically have four more turns now. One of the zombies will use Spectral Rapture. Most likely. I probably have to move out of here anyway. Yep. Okay, so I can remove the freeze effect with a heal. If I want to. We definitely need to move, so let's move. This looks fine. Doesn't really matter where, I need to move away from the zombies. I can't stand next to them. And the devilish needs to move as well. So I guess he can shoot one. Because somebody has to. He seems to be a good candidate. Do we move forward or backwards? I don't want to fight the warlock just yet, so let's move backwards a bit. And we'll shoot the zombie. So this will kill him, granted. There we go, then he will blow up. Do some damage to the other one. Now, uh, we need to take care of this business. Only 28%, that's a bit disappointing. Can we flare them up? Maybe, maybe not. Oh no, uh, we can't. Because that's devilish with flare. So no, we cannot. I can still fire a rocket. Concussion rocket might be a bit better here. <laughs> Look at that radius. That's actually pretty crazy. It will make them take more damage. Or I can use flashed rocket again. Well, sadly, this guy has blast padding. So it won't really do me much good. This might be a better moment to use insanity. Because then I can adjust my plan if it works or doesn't. I think I might do that. That officer in the back is too far away for me to do anything about. I could maybe move forward and then use insanity on the officer. Okay, that's a much better plan there. Let's do that. So insanity on the officer. We do have 11% chance to fail. Hopefully that won't happen. Yep, got him. He will panic, which is fine. I just want him to not do anything on his next turn. And now we can try to get these guys. I can flag them with a mat. We just need a good hit here. This needs to hit, basically. So, please don't miss. Got hit. No crit, but that's alright. We need five more damage through armor. Okay, that rocket is still tempting. And then we could use Concussion Rocket against the Warlock or something like that. This will still do good damage to the Priest. What the heck, let's just use the rocket. That's what a Rocketeer is for. And this should be the last pod in this mission. It's fine. There it is. 11 critical on the Priest. And he almost died right there. I could actually kill him with a mat. I don't know if I can kill the Assault Trooper. I would have to crit. 
And we still have that zombie. Uh, so, okay, I don't know. I think we should kill the zombie instead. It can do up to 7 non-critical damage. Let's kill the zombie. I'm not leaving it alive. That's too dangerous. He's too dangerous to be left alive. I guess we'll take some damage probably. Okay, 5 damage. I can live with that. The priest does have a pistol. It's his secondary weapon. He doesn't use it very often. But I've seen him use it. Yeah, this is fine. I can live with that. I am still watching the timer. See, this is what I meant earlier. This is actually a tough mission type. I think I have to rush the objective here. Uh, hold on, I might need to use waypoints. Well, I can just get revealed, but I would rather not. There is one more node in the back, so I can buy myself one extra turn. Uh, time to reload and take a shot. Wait, why can I not reload? Is he on fire or something? Yeah, he's burning. Uh, that's unfortunate. I can hunker down to get rid of that. Yeah, I need to think about this for a second. I can actually use soul fire and that will have a decent chance to kill the assault trooper. Maybe I'll just throw the mimic beacon to be honest. What else am I going to use oh, it yeah. for? Probably nothing. Just throw the Mimic Beacon, because I don't think I'll be killing the officer on this turn. At least it will counter the officer. So then the priest. Just move up here and kill the priest. Like so. Done. He won't bother us anymore. And we still have the concussion rocket. So hunker down to get rid of the fire and that's pretty much it. So let's move towards the objective, uh, but I don't want to get revealed here. Which means I'll have to open the door myself. There's no other way to do it, I have to open it myself. If I break the window, I'll get revealed. Okay, I mean, this should be fine. I should be able to get it on the next turn. And there's another node over here. So there's the officer, just don't crit the beacon. The trooper should also target the beacon. Yep. Okay. I might still not be able to kill them both right now. Especially with the officer being in full cover. Yes, we know, Bradford. Calm down. Can't you see we're almost there? Alright, let's do it. So this will reveal me. And the warlock is actually over there. So this is a bit of a risk, I'm not gonna lie. But if I don't do this, I will fail the objective. So I really don't have much of a choice. Let's do it. The worst case scenario... Wait, hold on, I can actually move. So in case I get dazed, I need someone to be reasonably close. This should be reasonably close, right here. Again, in case we get dazed. We'll deal with the warlock after everything else is dead. Yeah, yeah, you talk too much. Now we can flare if we want to. I'm probably too far away to do it. But I also don't have any more ammunition. Uh, no, we're not too far away. It won't hit the officer, but might still be useful against the trooper. What's our chance to hit? Uh, not that good. Yeah, not that good, actually. Let's just use that flare, it's fine. There we go. Dealing just with the warlock on his own shouldn't be too hard. Especially since we have a reaper, and the warlock is vulnerable to reapers and he has brittle. Which means we get like double the bonus. Okay, so we basically got the trooper here. I mean, not yet, but he will die. Let's reload and take a shot. There we go, uh, then we can shoot the officer. I probably won't kill the officer. I could stasis him, or I could save the stasis for the warlock. It's a possibility. Ready to rock. Well, let's see what we can do. Not much point using demolition here. It won't be useful enough on this turn. Just take that shot. You never know, maybe we'll hit him. Yes, we will. 
okay. Uh, so I need two more damage. And we got stock one here. Right, okay. Well then. I guess I'll just back up and hunker down. Because I don't want a Milamber to get killed, obviously. Let's just play it safe. Hunker down in full cover. He should be fine. Famous last words. Yeah, he's fine. Now I can use stock to remove Overwatch. Uh, here comes Mind Scorch. So I should be close enough uh, to help out. At least I'm pretty sure I am. I might need, like, teamwork or something. Yeah, I'm going to need teamwork. First, let's kill the officer, shall we? So... I guess I have to take this shot. To remove Overwatch. Or we will kill him, that works. Okay, now, let's go help Matt, shall we? So... Uh, right here. Who's faster? I guess Spartan will get there a bit faster. So move across. And then we'll use... Teamwork. It's a bit of a waste of teamwork, but I have to help out Matt. So go, go, go. I am a little bit spread out right now. We have to get to the Warlock. So teamwork. You have the power. And then we'll help Matt. And we'll move in with everyone. So this will do. Then we can help him. You don't need an action for that. Get up, Matt. We're not done yet. And let's maybe back up a little. What's our chance to hit here? Yeah, it's not good. Let's back up a little. And not that I can really go anywhere. Okay, hunker down. And get everyone here. Go, go, go. We have to handle the warlock still. Yeah, we are really spread out. But the mission is almost done and we did get the trooper corpse. That's the most important part of this mission. <laughs> the most exciting part of this mission. So now what we can do is get both the Predator armor and some plasma weapons and then do the Warlock Stronghold. We are only 9 days away from finishing Plasma Rifle research. Okay, teleport ally. Uh, thanks? That's kind of easier for me. Okay, mind control. So staggering shot will counter that. Uh, however, I'm probably too far away to use staggering shot on him. Yeah, I'm definitely too far away. Right, uh, well... Stasis is up, but I'm too far away to use Stasis. <laughs> Solid copy. He might have controlled Matt, so honestly that's not a big deal. I can probably just ignore him for one turn. I need the Warlock to come to me. So I think I'll just back up on this turn. That seems like the best thing we can do, just back up. Make them all come to us. Yep. Some more full cover would be nice, but... And this is fine. Over here might be fine. Like, over here. I don't think that guy in the back will be able to flank me and take a shot. Or over here. That's also good enough. I don't want Matt to flank anyone, so let's make sure he won't flank anyone. And this is good. Oh yeah, I don't necessarily want Overwatch, uh, because I don't want to shoot Matt. Let's just shoot that guy. I'm not using Staggering Shot, because I need that against the Warlock. There, nice, we actually hit him. Maybe I can kill him with Stock, or something like that. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, so back up with Spartan. Probably just hunker down or reload. And then we got Alexandra. I still got the concussion rocket. I'm saving it for the Warlock. Just move up. We also have Rapture that will be useful against the Warlock. Reload. Yeah, let's just play this one safe. They will have to move closer. Now, this guy will flank Spartan, but that shouldn't be a big problem. I'm under fire. He only does 5 base damage, so even with a crit, that's not enough. 
to kill anyone. That was close. Okay, we're fine. So, Matt. Uh, the Warlock next. What will he do? Uh, he will move twice, that's fine. Here comes Matt. So I need a staggering shot on the Warlock. Oh, okay, Matt actually shot Spartan. So, okay, standing here was a mistake without killing that trooper on the left. Spartan could have been dead now. So that was, in fact, a mistake. Can we staggering shot the Warlock or is he still too far away? We can, but I need to actually hit this. So let's use the high ground. Because if I don't hit him, this will not be useful. I have to hit him. And he has good cover there. 98%. Should be good enough. Got it. It's only one damage, but the purpose here was to get rid of mind control. So now we should probably heal up Spartan. Yeah, this was risky. But he's alive, that's what matters. Uh, now what? Probably kill these two fellas. Kill the guy who tried to kill me. Bye bye. And that's a trooper corpse, nice. So we will definitely get all the trooper corpses we need. Uh, so... Let's see, I don't have stasis again. I could actually stasis the warlock here. Uh, Milamber is at 5 HP and I don't have any more heals. Uh, no, I can't stay this the Warlock. We can use Insanity on this guy. Yeah, hold on. I don't want Milamber to get killed. Maybe backing up is a better idea? Maybe. I'm considering it. What about Matt? Yeah, not much he can do. He can go to high ground. And like Overwatch. I am on the move. It won't do much. It probably won't do anything. I'll keep an eye on it. Okay. I meant to use aid protocol for me lumber. Yeah, we should definitely move. Okay, let's just move into full cover or something. I really don't want him to get killed. That would be bad. And take a shot. It's a 50% chance. Decent. Okay, just take a shot here. Got it. I mean, he's not dead, but close enough. Unfortunately, no stock on this weapon. And technically I could kill him with that concussion rocket, but that would be a bit of a waste. Ready to go. Maybe we can kill him anyway. Uh, yes, we can. Good job. So that leaves us with the reward lock only. We definitely want to pick up that load. What I need the most right now are Elarium cores. I need to get an Elarium core. Uh, that was a nasty day. Uh, they were both quite far from each other and they still got dazed. Okay then. Can I not get up here? Oh, are they both blocking the ladder? Oh wow. Uh, that's really unfortunate. Okay, that's really unfortunate. They are both blocking the ladder. What the heck? I guess I have to use a revival protocol. Uh, yep. I'm glad I had it. Okay, I'm really glad I had it. This is super unfortunate. I can't get up here because they are both standing next to the ladder up. If I didn't have a revival protocol, I would not be able to help them here. I thought they are far enough from each other to not both get dazed. But apparently I was mistaken. Okay, let's go help out Devalish. I would rather stay in cover. Or just out of view of the warlock. So this does not count as cover here. Can we kill that warlock already? He's starting to get on my nerves. Like, seriously. He is really getting on my nerves. Well then, so remember, if I miss him, he will get additional shield. Because he has kinetic plating. So that sucks. But not much I can do about it. Frostbomb might be good here. I can hit him with the Frostbomb. 
I need everyone to get closer, like right now. Understood. Out. So let's maybe do that. Yeah, we could stay this and then move, let's say, here. I also need Matt to get much closer. Because he's the one who will do the most damage. Yeah, I still want the load. Let's just go with Stasis. I think that's reasonable. I mean, not Stasis, Frostbomb. It's not the best position for a Frostbomb, but I'm going to use it anyway. And we'll pick up the load. I suppose I can pick up the load on the next turn, just to be safe. 67% I guess we could try Okay, move closer So this is still slightly risky here Oh yeah, and also, Milamber has Solas If he gets hit, he will die, that makes me a bit nervous But I have to kill the Warlock, I can't just ignore him Okay, take that shot. One damage from stock. And he will get that stupid kinetic plating. I really hate that ability. It's so irritating. 98% this time. There we go. So that's effectively free damage from two shots. I guess I'm better off just moving closer now, picking up the load. Because missing would be counterproductive. And no Alarium Core, unfortunately. Repeater and Laser Sight, that's kind of bad at this stage of the campaign. So he will still be able to do something, because this doesn't remove all his actions. Now I can use Stasis on the Mind Control Soldier, because a Staggering Shot will still be on cooldown, but we got Stasis. So Stasis on Alexandra. Can we get close enough with Matt? And not yet, no. Okay, just move towards him. What's our chance to hit? I don't think I'm close enough for Brittle, but it's still a good damage. Can we shred him? That would be the job for Spartan. Can we flank him? Yes, we can. Okay, let's flank him and try to shred him. That would be good. I need to remove at least some of his armor. Go, go, go. Please don't miss this one. There it is. And we got a crit. But the shred is the most important part. Okay, so let's stay this. And then I can still take a shot. It's a bit of a low chance to hit. But soul fire works on the warlock. We can also inspire. I'm saving inspire for when Matt can shoot the warlock in the face. So then we can inspire him to take another shot. Anyhow, we will stay this Alexandra here. So that will neutralize her for one turn. Done. And then I could use Insanity. And then, let's see. So take that shot. It might be better to reload. That will give me more flexibility on the next turn. Uh, well, no, I have free reload. I just need to not miss, because if I miss, not only I want to do this damage, uh, he will get kinetic plating. But this is too much damage to just ignore it. There it is, so that's 9 damage. And we were close enough to trigger Brittle. We have one more shot with Devalish here. That's 88%. I'm pretty sure he will be dead on the next turn. I'm like 99% sure he will be. Okay. I could almost kill him on this turn, but not quite. 66% uh, is a bit low. I think I'll use aid protocol for me lumber, just in case. Okay, take that shot. Nice one. He will die on the next turn, pretty much guaranteed. Yeah, guaranteed, it will happen. Uh, not using the pistol. I'll still have soul fire. I could just run out of range entirely. Technically, he will still be able to attack me. Oh, screw it. Let's just run out of range. 
and use aid protocol or something. I don't want to risk. We pretty much got this. I'm not taking a risk. So that's plus 30 defense. Okay. So he might summon some more enemies here or zombies. Yeah, spectral army. So I think I'll have to kill it before I can continue doing damage to him. Because he will use a shield around himself. Yep, so now I have to kill the spectral army. Which is a little bit annoying, but at least the warlock is down to 12 HP. I should be able to do it. Depends on how much damage we do. We got Alexandra back. So first, this fella. We'll just shoot him. From over here. Can I do it from the high ground? No. Okay, over here. I can't be too close because then I actually lose aim. 97. So this won't necessarily kill him. Yeah, I'm one damage short. But we do have stock one uh, on Alexandra. Uh, no, who had stock one? Uh, Milamber had stock one. So he can get that kill, sort of. Yeah, from over here. Uh, let's do that. Go, go, go. So this will be a kill. Done. What'd you expect? Next. How far can Matt move? Yeah, not close enough. Not close enough. I might have to give the Warlock one more turn, which I really hate doing, but my options are kind of limited right now. Uh, let's kill that Spectral Army guy. And one more shot, I guess. I will have Staggering Shot again on the next turn. He will not be able to use Mind Control that early. He might use... Uh, the days thing. That's probably what's going to happen. Yeah, most likely. Well, I can still try to take a shot, but he has full cover now. So, might not be the best idea. I would have to get really lucky to kill him now. Should we just use the rocket? I mean, yeah, sure. I don't see why not. What else am I going to use it for? Uh, probably nothing. And this is guaranteed damage. So he will not get kinetic plating from this. I mean, you can't miss with a rocket. You can miss in the sense of misfiring it, but you can't get an actual miss. So, yeah, if only he didn't have that full cover, I would be able to kill him right now. But alas. I can still try with the bolt caster. Let's see what our chance to hit is. 46%. Too low. I'm not doing that. Yeah, too low. Let's actually conceal ourselves, because why not? Oh, hold on. I can actually move further. Oh, wait. We can do it. So, okay. This might not actually kill him, but it should. Reload. If only I had banish. This should kill him. I'm pretty sure this will kill him. Or he will be left with like 1 HP, which would suck, but... There it is. We got him. Nice. We are done with this mission. And now we can get Predator armor. Very nice. That was a pretty tough mission. Come on now. We're done. Yeah, yeah, you talk too much. You're done, buddy. I'm sure you will, bro. I'm sure we'll see them again, but that chosen sure wasn't expecting the fight we put up today, Commander. Okay, let's go get our promotions. We got at least one lieutenant promotion earlier. Children, these radicals seek to strip us of the wondrous gifts provided by the elders. Though we might pity their ignorance. I think Spartan got a lieutenant promotion. At least we know these chosen can be killed. Uh, yep, okay. And also Manti. Nice. Let's take a look then. So heavy ordnance. I'll probably pick up holo targeting as well, but not yet. Explosive action looks interesting. Okay, not spending the extra points yet. 
and the Manti will get field manic. I might also pick up scanning protocol, but we'll see. I definitely want field manic. Alright, we got three trooper corpses and a bunch of other corpses. Hello. Also 10 supplies, 72 intel and we countered viper rounds. A soldier bond available. Yep, this one. I was talking about this one earlier. Uh, that's the one. Matt and me lumber. So we can get that. Now we need the armor. Commander. Do we have enough supplies? Yeah, we do. There it is. Finally. Finally. Done. We waited long enough for that. So now, if I want plasma weapons, I'm going to need more supplies. I should have enough alerium and alloys. So we could wait for that, or we could just do the Warlock Stronghold immediately. We got some supplies over here. Uh, let's finish building the radio relay, because that's literally almost done. There, done. So that's more supplies from the supply drop. We will get advanced battlefield medicine in two days. So this is now basically the question of whether we want to wait for plasma weapons or not. I should be able to get at least the shotgun. And even that is worth getting. That's basically the best bang for the buck. So supplies. Right here. Expires in 10 days. I think I'll get those. I will need a lot of supplies, I know as much. Avengers okay, let's go get the supplies. I could probably buy some supplies for Intel at the black market, but that's not necessarily a good trade, you know. Here's Advanced Battlefield Medicine, a nice one. So that gives us the Biomed Kit. Oh, and we will also clear the machinery, which will give us supplies. I can actually speed that up a little. So how about we do that? Here, speed it up. Six days and the plasma rifle in seven days. I think I might just wait seven days. We are so close. As for the proving ground. So I got three cores right now. This is still not a lot. I might just do nothing right now. Yeah, I like things like spider suit, but I'm not willing to spend an alarium core for it at the moment. And I'm also not willing to spend supplies right now. So, as much as it kind of sucks, I'm going to do nothing. I normally wouldn't, but I think in this particular case it kind of makes sense. A chosen sabotage. Our covert actions will be delayed by a week. Okay, that doesn't matter. This is about the hunter, not the warlock. We already got the warlock stronghold. Let's see if we get another mission before this is done. Avatar project, whatever. Okay, there's a cancel mission. Supplies and intel. Okay, we are definitely doing this. Because we can then use the supplies to get the plasma rifle. In theory, I could maybe even finish plasma rifle before launching this mission. But it doesn't look like I can. Let me double check. Yeah, 18 hours. I can't see how many hours exactly this is, so... Maybe, maybe not. But we'll do this mission, get the supplies, then get some plasma weapons, and then we'll do the chosen stronghold. However, that's the end of this episode, so thanks for watching all the way to the end, I appreciate it. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.